here is question number 11 in question number 11 we are asked to find angle between the lines L1 to L2 angle from L1 to L2 is required this angle we name theta and is required what is given L1 L1 is joining minus 9 minus 1 and 3 minus 5 L2 is joining 2 7 and minus 6 minus 7 okay angle is found with the help of slope first we find slopes of these two lines solution begins slope of l1 is m1 is what is slope slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and what is y2 is minus 5 minus y1 y1 is minus 1 by x2 minus x1 x2 is 3 x1 is minus 9 so this becomes minus 5 plus 1 it will be minus 4 this is minus 4 by 3 plus 9 12 it will be minus 1 by 3 okay slope of L2 is M2 same formula works I don't write formula again y2 minus y1 is minus 7 minus 7 y2 minus 7 minus this y1 7 y2 minus y1 y1 is 7 x2 minus x1 minus 6 is x2 we subtract x1 x1 is 2 so it is minus 14 by minus 8 minus 14 by minus 8 simplifies n2 minus 14 by minus 8 simplifies n2 by the table of 2 2 divides 14 by 7 2 divides 8 by 4 both slopes we have now we will have to locate these points also it is essential to locate these points and their respective quadrants quadrants are important their actual location is not important if we locate them actually that is better if we cannot look at them actually at least we should avoid their accurate quadrant so let's look this is in third quadrant minus 9 minus 1 on x x axis we have to move 9 unit in negative direction so maybe it is here minus 9 and minus 1 is this so this is the point minus 9 1 this point and the other point on this line l1 is 3 minus 5 on x it is 3 maybe here look at it 3 6 9 so probably here is 3 right 3 and minus 5 it is 1 2 3 3 6 and here it can be 5 estimated position of minus 5 so this is minus 9 minus 1 and what is it it is 3 minus 5 We join these two and get L1. This is L1. And now what is, how can we look at this point? This point will be in first quadrant, 2, 7. X2, Y7 will be probably here. It is 2, 7 in first quadrant. Minus 6, minus 7 will be in third quadrant. How can we look at this? is 3, 6, minus 6 and minus 7. This is 3, 6. 7 is here so probably this is the location this is the location of this point minus 6 minus 7 points have been located now these two if are joined we will get L2 this is L1 this is L2 and he said angle from L1 to L2 this L1 this L2 L1 to L2 this angle and we know that direction is anti-clockwise direction must be anti-clockwise so this is the direction from L1 to L2 its slope is M2 its slope is M1 so formula works as M2 minus M1 arrowhead tells us that on the tip of the arrow it is 
m2 on the tail of the arrow it is m1 so it will be m2 minus m1 angle theta is given by angle theta is given by this formula tan theta is equal to m2 essentially arrow tells us the direction towards m2 so m2 minus m1 it will be m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m2 m1 now we substitute values we will evaluate the angle m2 is 7 by 4 m1 is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 divided by 1 plus m2 7 by 4 m1 minus 1 by 3 it will be simplified and that will be the value of 10 so what is the value of 10 theta here now these two will be added 12 is LCM we can see that 3 multiplied by this 21 4 here 25 by 12 it will be 25 by 12 divided by what is in denominator it is 25 by 12 what is in denominator here it is 12 is LCM 12 minus it will be minus due to this sign 12 minus 7 is what 5 5 by 12 12 cancels 12 25 by 5 will be 5 so 10 theta value is 5 Here we have 10 theta is equal to, we can evaluate it as 5. 10 theta is equal to 5. Now we take 10 on the other side, it becomes 10 inverse. 10 inverse of 5 we evaluate through calculator and that will be angle. So from here you can see students 10 inverse of 5. That gives us 78.69 uh, degree. 78.69 degree. This is angle between these two lines. Awesome.